Welcome to another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pots. If y'all been paying attention, you about to take over this whole food industry. And remember, if you're in Miami, you want something good to eat, make sure you check out Sunday's Eatery, where you can get a Sunday's meal six days out of the week. We close on Tuesdays, so don't call me on Tuesdays. Today, I got another special guest for you, of course. Y'all gonna like this one, especially the fellas. And um, I wasn't sure with everybody eating all uh, different kinds of ways these days, I wasn't sure or not that she eat pork, so I can't cook my regular favorite bacon. So we gonna concentrate strictly on breakfast today. So what I'm cooking is, I'm cooking the Poker Bean Project Edition of, uh, you ready for this? So what I'm doing is I'm cooking the Poker Bean Edition a salmon croquettes. And you see, I cut my bell peppers kind of small. A lot of people are afraid of vegetables, so. So I wasn't sure whether or not she ate pork or not, because everybody try all these new ways of eating nowadays. So I'm gonna cook something different today. It's the Poker Bean Project edition of salmon croquettes. And since a lot of people are scared of onions actually, I'll use the onion powder and see it. So as you see, I already cut up my bell peppers and put my bell peppers in here. Use a little onion powder. Now the main important thing to this meal is that Sunday seasoning. Y'all make sure y'all check that out. Y'all Google this, find this, Amazon, Trick Daddy store. Anyway, Sunday seasoning going on everything but mermaid. And y'all real men know what a mermaid is. Don't act crazy, act like you don't eat mermaid. We know what's going on. So what I do is, I take a little lime, put it over the salmon croquette, of course. A little bit of salt, because we already got salt in there. And we're putting salt inside the water. That's for grits. And if my grandma caught one of y'all putting milk in them grits and have her walk around the house farting all day, you'll never hear the end of it. So with that, with that's being said, right? I put my bell pepper, my onion salt, and two cans of sardines. So now I'm breaking this thing down. In this case, this is not eggs. We're not on eggs yet. So I'm not gonna do the whipping thing. This ain't got nothing to do with the wrist game. This has something to do with breaking everything down so we can kind of mash it up, sort of. Now what I do, I take a little bit of all-purpose flour. This is all-purpose flour. Very important. Flour ain't flour, fool. Flour, flour, not flour. There's self-rising flour, and there's all-purpose flour. Of course, self-rising flour is for baking. We'll take a rock of size and figure that out. I take me two good, healthy brown eggs and put them in there. Mix that on up real good. Make sure my grease is going right here. You don't want the grease to be too hot. You want it just right. So when you fry these things up. So I add a little bit of milk to the salmon croquette and I don't, don't, don't think it's a game. Cause this is real, this is really happening. You know there's not one prep before this started, right? So I take my milk and I add it. So remembering at all times that I want this thing to make sense, 
add a little more flour because we want to give it more of a comfort vibe, you know? And for those of y'all that's not living in South Florida, I don't feel sorry for you and your 20 below weather. How about that? Come on down. Move to South Florida. Black folks fill out the censorship paper too. Y'all think somebody trying to put a chip in y'all. They need to put a chip in your ass. Move to South Florida if you want to experience some good eating, good living, and good weather. And of course, you know, South Florida, we got two seasons. We got summer and hurricane season. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna get some gloves because I'm about to deal with this with my hand right now. And if I was home cooking, I wouldn't give a damn about no gloves. I'm telling you right now, you come to my house to eat, I didn't use no gloves. So y'all can stay out my comments with the ignorant stuff. Talking about, oh, he ain't got no gloves on, this and that, I don't care nothing about you. You, you, you maybe use gloves? No. Get this thing going. Make sure my grease is at a good temperature. A little more flour to be safe. So now I'm, I'm working strictly with my hands with this thing right here now. So if you never travel to the Bahamas, St. Croix, St. Martin, the Virgin Islands, or anything like that, you ain't never been to Miami, never been to Cunk Town or Chef Creole, uh, you, you probably don't know what comfort is, is but we gonna get the comfort of vibe right here. This is a salmon croquette. One thing I can't stand about a person that cooks, keep walking around, moving, walk around all the high, might want to sneak on the back, might try to sneak in the back room or behind the camera and dig in your nose. Oh no, we ain't doing that. Ain't one of them. Not why the salmon croquette frying, what we gonna do is, I'm gonna start the grits. Y'all notice with the grits, I had the water boiling already. That's the easiest, small way to cook grits is to have the water boiling already. And once you add your grits, you can turn the eye down a little bit. Because my mama said the hot grits was the only one, to, the only way to control a man in the South back in the day. So that means if this popping get on you, that ain't what you want. Like I said, coming up, we got a special guest. Somebody y'all gonna like, especially the fellas. We'll be right back, all right? Check it out, my watch. I'm Tamara, and this is another episode of Trick Daddy's Bitch, I Got My Pots. Here are the top five solo artists with the highest selling hip hop albums of all time in the United States. Number five, Lauryn Hill for the miseducation of Lauryn Hill. Since its release on August 18, 1998, this album has been on heavy rotation for all heartbreakers, neo-soul, and true hip-hop lovers, and was certified 10 times multi-platinum on February 16, 2021. Hey, must be the money! Coming in at number four is Nelly for Country Grammar, released June 27th of 2000 and certified 10 times multi-platinum on July 21st, 2016. Number three is Tupac, All Eyes On Me, released February 13th, 1996, and certified 10 times platinum on July 23rd, 2014. The hits on this album that the streets loved so much was Ambition As A Rider, How Do You Want It, I Ain't Mad At Ya, All Eyes On Me, and Two Of America's Most Wanted. Also, his greatest hits album was released November 24th of 1998 and certified 10 times multi-platinum on June 23rd, 2011. 10 times platinum, making them diamond for selling 10 million copies. Also, his greatest hits covered controversial topics such as Brenda's Got a Baby. Also features arguably one of the best diss tracks of all time, Hit Em Up. First off, fuck your bitch in the click you claim. Number two, Eminem self-titled The Marshall Mathers LP. 
Released May 23rd, 2000 and certified 10 times multi-platinum March 9th, 2011. Not only did he originate the word Stan, but he was trolling before trolling was a thing. The Eminem Show, released May 26th of 2002. Certified 10 times multi-platinum March 7th of 2011. With this album, he opened up about his family life and dropped the legendary Cleaning Out My Closet. Coming in at number one with the highest selling hip hop album of all time by a solo act is the Notorious B.I.G. for Life After Death and certified 11 times platinum on April 4th, 2013. And one thing we can learn from this album is with more money comes more problems. And remember, this list is not an opinion. It is based on album sales in the United States. Facts. Courtesy of the RIAA. Which album is your favorite on the list? Jump in the comments and tell us because I know with all those millions sold that some of those customers have to be watching now. Either way, I'm Tamara and this has been another Top 5 on Trick Daddy's Bitch I Got My Pops. And just like that, we back. Now, I'm gonna show y'all how to make eggs. Now, if you're not a chef, don't try this at home. That was margarine. Now I'm gonna put the same amount of butter. I know, y'all ain't know there was a difference between butter and margarine. Well, you can learn a lot from a dummy. Got eggs. Black pepper don't go in eggs. Black pepper go in scrambled eggs after it's cooked if you want black pepper. And the whip game is necessary. All you D-boys, all you boys in the trap, y'all know what time it is. You gotta finesse the whip game. And like I told y'all earlier, if I catch y'all pouring milk in them damn grits, I'ma slap the dog shit at you. It don't go in no goddamn grits. Milk don't go in grits. So now we got the, uh, make sure these eggs here. Salmon croquette, turn the eggs up a little medium. Got my grits, smooth. Silk premium grits. And after I flip these, I want to introduce y'all to my, my next guest. So my next guest, coming out of ATR by way of Sock Kakalaki, Miss Rini Rucci. Did I say that right, baby? Come on, baby, come on. Hey, How you doing? Hey, How you good. doing? How you doing? All right. Look, I'm uh, gonna get too close to the pot because my mom would have cussed me out my hair out in this kitchen like this. Now see, that's a side thing. That's a side, that's something you picked up inside Kakalaki right there. That's something you picked up inside Kakalaki right there. Yeah, that's so you from, like this. My, my grandma and my granddaddy from South Carolina. Oh, they is from the, the they are Geechees. They from King's Tree, uh -huh. Andrews. You know, they sound a little Bahamian. That little, uh... So you're familiar with salmon croquet? Yeah. Okay. Love them down. Look, I made a lot of money at King Street before. I, <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> That's a past life. A past life. Y'all heard that a past life. It's one thing. One thing about your past when you when you when you can laugh and you can talk about it. That means you're growing as an artist and growing as a person. So you got this. So let me, let me get this right. You got a big record, and I don't know why y'all women always doing this. Y'all talking about the bag all the time, and y'all got these dudes out here doing dumb stuff, trying to chase the bag, trying to be down with with, with, with beautiful, fine women. When they play this song in the club, the girls is going crazy. What motivates you to do, do, do this kind of music? Your hustle, your background, your strive, the struggle? What, what was your motivation? I thought all of that. Like, coming from, you know, food stamps, Section 8, my mom, watching my mama do for all for her kids by herself. She had a little bit of help. I'm not gonna act like, oh, I ain't do that. You had, had a couple of step daddies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that's... it's the finesse game in there too. Like she, right. she know what to do. You know what I'm saying? But coming from that and not having to do that because I found a way to figure it out on my own. Like it ain't always, you don't always have to depend on nobody. You can figure it out. You can get your own money. You can have the same shit you men have on your own. Right. 
that's that's just a mess. I got a daughter. I got a son. I don't want my son with no woman who's waiting around for him. Y'all ladies heard that? Now, that, that don't mean. And what? Uh, let, let me let me straighten y'all right now too, because I want y'all to get it twisted. She's not saying that you're not supposed to depend on the man. She's not saying, but you should be able to. But it's mama's baby, daddy's baby. So life goes on. So when you make a mistake in life, you gotta keep you gotta keep pushing. You can't let your your wrong the wrong things that you did in the past fuck up your past, your present, and your future because you made mistakes. Cause we born imperfect. We are imperfect people born in an imperfect world. So we're not perfect. So y'all heard it yourself. Get and you end way. up in you end up in Carolina because you got you a, you leave Carolina. And go to Atlanta, you get you an Atlanta nigga. Now you got you an Atlanta nigga. <laughs> he ain't from Atlanta though. He not from so so y'all met up in Atlanta. Yeah. He okay. from Greensboro. He from North Carolina. No, he from Cal oh, from Greenboro. I ain't never heard of Greenboro. Me neither. When I was saying he's from Greensboro, I thought he was from North Carolina too. And right. then I was like, damn, I ain't know it's a Greensboro in Georgia. But okay. But yeah, he But from he come from my, he come from your same background, your same struggle, your same yeah. story. Y'all understand each other. small towns, just the same old shit you would see. You know, like- And you ain't got no baby from him? No. Oh. I got two kids, but they got the same daddy. That was for my high school boyfriend. You know, talk about that. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> so what you got going on? What you got going on next? Like, what's, what's next for you? What you got going on? I'm putting out more music, being more consistent. Yeah. Like, you know how, like, sometimes as artists, we're going to take accountability with what's going on in our career where we fuck up at. I've been in that space where I'm sitting back looking at myself. Like, girl, you could be doing this, but you're not consistent enough. You don't, you know, critiquing myself and getting myself together, we get a little comfortable when we start making a little more money. And I, 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 I'm going to tell you right now. When, I'm going to tell you, I tightened up about 10 years ago. And that's because somebody who I thought was my friend had to really gave me a reality check. Well, not to bring that up no more, but it, it came to the point where I forgot I was famous and at the same time, I forgot that I was poor. Because a couple hundred thousand, a couple million dollars don't make you no, rich. Don't. Credit make you rich. A good mind make you rich. A good soul make you rich. And having the right people, you know what I'm saying, around you. And I always tell people this, Bob Greasy said in a song, he said, um, Take a look at your circle. Would you want to be them? If not, to make the ones you need to be mm -hmm. with. And, and what we're going through with the police these days and what we're going through with uh, systemic racism and what Black Lives Matter is trying to, to, to do for, for us black folk, what we need to do is stay out of bad areas. Stay out of tight situations. Stay out of confrontations. Stay, uh, stay, uh, you know, stay negative. Only you, all, you'll stay negative only if you be in negative places around negative people. I don't. I used to back in the days. I used to be like making up excuses. I have, my, you know, my mama want to tell my brother, "Don't come back here." And I'd be like, "Mom, but mom, you where you gonna go at making up excuses?" But I've learned these last couple of years, like everybody got to make up their own excuses. Yeah. Everybody got to be accountable for all the dumb stuff that they do. You see how fluffy and pretty the man is? I just was going to ask you how you get them ears fluffy like that. Butter and margarine, the whip game. The whip game. I heard, you see how pretty them things is? Milk don't go in grease, but do milk go in eggs? Milk don't go in eggs either. <laughs> milk go in cornflakes. You know in the country, they be putting that milk in them milk, heads. Milk, they, that, that ain't where it go. That's why, the, that, that's why them country girls fart be smelling like this. <laughs> That's why them country girls fart be smelling like this. And I'm gonna let you, here we go. C, what C at? Look here, C. You already know CO. CO is one of my, one, one thing I can say about CO, he is one of my supporters, one of my brothers, one of my label mates from day one. CO been around me the whole 25 years that I've been in the music game. Ain't never changed, always been the same type of person, man. Well, I hope you want to be like me if I'm in your circle. I do want to be like you, but I can't be a part of your game. No, that you, 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 you ain't. I can't be a part of the game. It, it, you, no, you can't. <laughs> you already know that game, right? You can't. You, you can never be part of either booty game. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs>
See, I was see, finna ask you what are we eating today, and then you go. <laughs> we eat seven croquet. Yeah, yeah. seven croquet. That's all we eat in a day. <laughs> No, no mermaid today. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's called, the mermaid. The mermaid is girl, you know. We not eating that today. We doing something different. We gonna eat some mimosas. Why orange you said, see? I got it in the refrigerator. We got some mimosas right there. there. Take these eggs out of these hot pot because it is still cooked. Y'all see how pretty the man is. I watched the man cook before and I just stood here. I mean, that's the, well, see, this the new, this the new thing right now. This a new time and a new thing okay. what I'm trying to get. And I, 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 I really, what I really wanted to do, what I really wanted to do was do something where there's a lot of beautiful women that can't cook. There's a lot of women who think they body and they conversation, like, is, right. that ain't nothing. Right. And then a lot of them look alike now because a lot of them wear the boutique everybody, clothing. Yeah, everybody wear the same thing. Everybody go to the same doctors. Go, you're the same doctors. <laughs> They get their hair done by the same, same people. The makeup, the makeup girl that's hot in town, she do it. Everybody so y'all got the same tone on. So now how you expect your man not to cheat on you? What I else mean, do you, what else is it? You, you, you ain't offering nothing else. You look just like the other girl. So we trying to get the girls to do something. Hold up, man. And man, and shout out to my boy. Bella always look out for me. I can always count on Bella to make sure that boy right. All I that need that blue and that, that gold bottle too, man. Y'all see this week, we gonna have the blue one, the gold one, the black one, the magnum, all that. We need all that. Send that up in here. So I'm gonna. I can't wait till you taste this stuff right here. I can't wait to taste it. I'm ready. So I be in Atlanta a lot. My favorite spots are Allure. That's one of my favorite spots. My favorite okay. place to eat is Papa Do's. I hate catfish. I used to go to the Flame, but um, Super Bowl in Atlanta, they got Spody on me, and they made me pay for everybody that was in the that, that was with me. We need plates. I, I'm I'm finna fix your plate. Give All me right. some plates. Here's some plates. Okay. Plate right so they got Spody on me, and they was like, "Well, everybody got to pay." So I had to pay two hundred dollars for everybody who was with me. Then they was talking crazy. I bought the bottle, so I got a couple bottles. As I paid everybody way in, I just had to show them that I wasn't petty. I threw up about two or three thousand, and I walked out the club, and they never been back. And now you go to a loop. Now I go to a loop where the women are pretty, where the management is understanding, and, and, and they show love. I, I wish I would've known you being there, and I wouldn't invite you to the show I just had. I, I wish you would have invited me. We had a good I need. Time. I, I don't. I never. I never really go places in Atlanta because every time you turn around, every time you turn around, they talking about it's not far. <laughs> but as soon as I put it in my ways out, it it's 30, 45 minutes. <laughs> It don't be far. And y'all don't, and Atlanta don't have traffic. And I've been trying to tell Atlanta people for the longest. Atlanta don't have traffic. Virginia have traffic. DC have traffic. Maryland have traffic. Atlanta don't got no traffic. Well, tell me it's traffic. You know how long I've been in South Carolina. So that's traffic. Oh yeah, well. See, I give you two sequels. Yeah, because. You know, you've been cooking. You like, don't eat mermaids, so I'll give you two of these. I'm gonna eat some I don't mermaids. eat beef, pork. I don't eat any cartoon characters. Actually, she wanted oxtails today, so we got to cook her oxtails before she leave. All right, that's what's up. Yeah, I, I went to Sunday's yesterday. Sunday's. You ate it. What you, what you got? What you the ate? Baked chicken. Oh, that baked chicken, chicken is amazing. Yeah. That baked chicken is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I needed to know. Yeah. If, if you bake chicken and your chicken's still moist, you know what you're doing. Baked chicken is amazing. The turkey wings, the corn is in. Let me get some of that. Oh, did we give you any forks? I mean, I was just in a grab it myself. Look, I'm you at home. Let's have a good That's time. That's all you got to say. You want hot sauce? I do. There you go. So what you do when you in Miami? Like, what's some places you been, why you been down here? What, the strip clubs? The mall all the and the strip clubs. clubs. You been going That's to the, which one? Go. You ain't been going to the ones I go to. You gotta go to the ones I go to. I go to the office. I went to the office. G5. I like G5. And the men. But you know, I don't go to G5 that much because I work there so much. Oh, that, okay, well that makes sense. So you used to dance there. But it's a whole, 
it's a whole other environment now. It's a whole another line up of people and set up of people. Randy, before we eat though, you got to say the prayer. You got to say the prayer before we eat. I got to say the prayer. Yeah. You got to say the prayer. Y'all ain't good at saying prayer. I ain't good at, I ain't good right. at it at all. Come on, let's put it in. That's how we pray. Yeah. You Bow your heads. Bow our heads. God bless this fool. Amen. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> What's up, y'all? We got another episode. We on episode four right now. And guess what I got today? I got something special, something unique, something never done before. Let me just show you. I got the new Kanye album. Woo! Look at that, Donda 2. Pull this thing out. Now, I don't know. I don't know how to hear anything from it because, first of all, I've been waiting all day, all morning. You know, he always said date, two, 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 and it ain't come out today. But I'm sure it's going to be hot. I give him A for effort for doing this right here. Cause a lot of people don't understand what it takes to be in this music industry that most of the times you don't even get all the money that you're supposed to get being an artist out here. Most people get like 0. 0.0005 cents per stream. So you, that means you gotta sell like, you gotta stream like half a billion just to see your profits made back from your album. And that's crazy. So for that, I give them an A. You know what these are right here? These are called pine berries. This is something like unique. Pine berries, that's a strawberry and a pineapple mixed together. So that's for Kanye album Donda 2. This is like his 11th album, 11th studio album. So we're gonna do that for him for some, some something unique, man. It's crazy, right? He has like the same producers. He has Mike Dean. You can't do a Kanye album without a Mike Dean producing your album. Plus, got a little Travis Scott. The album supposedly has like 21, 22 tracks. I'm really looking forward to hearing what he got because you know, one time he said he wasn't gonna do secular music. Nah, he talking about beating up Pete Davidson. So I really don't know where we at right now. He got tracks called Broken Road. I'm finna love me. I'm finna love me. That's some Kanye shit. I'm finna love me, I tell you. Let's put that in there, man. That's some juicy shit right there for Kanye. And we gonna put a little bit of this right here for Pablo, cause he got another track on his album called Pablo. And you know what? Gonna lift it up with a little bit of ice. Let's just see what I think this Donda album, I ain't even heard the album yet. Still waiting. Hello? Anybody, if y'all heard the album, let me know what y'all think, man. I mean, it's a nice package. A lot of money for this pack. This $200 for this right here. $200. Who got two, $200? Let's see what that tastes like right here. Donda, 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 Donda. Donda, 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 two. Two, 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 two. Whoa. That tastes amazing. I might have to get this like, I ain't even heard the album yet. I'm just giving you five, five champagne bottles and I ain't even heard the album yet. Since we showed y'all how we get down in the kitchen, y'all emailed us, send us a video, show us how y'all get down out there in the streets. On your food truck, on your barbecue grill, or in your backyard. Yo, this your boy Trick Daddy Dollars, and I approve this message. <laughs>